Hey guys, welcome back. Well, we're going to do another ZBrush tutorial today, and today I'm going to show you how you can use a spotlight that is normally used for uh, painting and so forth to uh, project reference images on your screen while modeling. Okay, let's jump in. Here we go. All right, guys, well, we're in ZBrush. Let's get started. Well, I assume you know the uh, basic uh, controls, and if not, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll do a uh, beginner's tutorial. But that said, let's set up our scene first, okay? So we're gonna go into Simple Brush. I'm gonna click on Sphere 3D, left click and drag, pull that out, click on Edit, and click on Make Polymesh 3D. I'm gonna use my left mouse to move this around and hold Shift to snap it, okay? So we're good. Now, I'm gonna bump up the subdivision level a bit by hitting Control D, and let's do once, twice, three, one more time. So we're at about two million up here. Good, good. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to uh, Texture, and we're gonna go to um, Import. What I wanna do is import photographs or images of things that I wanna look at while I'm sculpting. So not reference images that I want to have behind my object to follow exactly, but simply photographs that I want to look at while I'm sculpting so I have an idea what my object looks like, okay? So I'm going to click on import. Now I'm going to use this car as an example. I already have that loaded, but I'll do it again so you can see the process. So I'm going to click on this and hit open. And now that it's added here a couple of times already, you can see, I'm gonna click on this guy and I'm gonna to go to this button right here, add to spotlight. Now when I do that, a couple of things happen. First of all, it opens up my light box. I don't want that. So I can either click on light box or hit comma on my keyboard to get rid of that. And then second, you see that this image has been loaded, but it's quite large. So I'm gonna go with my mouse over, uh, or pen, whatever you're using, over this wheel. And I'm gonna stop here where it says skill. I'm gonna left click on that and I'm gonna to start to rotate that wheel to make that a bit smaller. Let's say I'm happy with this size. I can then move it up and push it up in the corner. So this is something I can look at while I'm sculpting. Now, in order for me to get out of this wheel, I need to hit a Z or a Z on my keyboard and I'm ready to go, right? Okay, so I'm going over my sphere and nothing's happening. Well, why is that? Well, the way this is set up is that that uh, spotlight is not intended to do it this way. It's a texturing painting tool, okay? And what you can actually do is, uh, I'll hit Z again, you can take this guy, push it over your object, and if you paint or sculpt or brush right now, it will actually take detail from that image. So if I'm within the confinements of my image, I can actually work, okay? Now, I don't want that, of course, so what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna hit Z once again, push it up in the corner, hit Z to turn off that wheel, and I wanna be able to work on my sphere regardless, okay? So the only thing I have to do is go up to a brush, we're gonna to go to samples, where to go, right here, and we're gonna turn off a spotlight projection, okay? So now I can just go in and work on my sculpt, okay? Now, the only tricky thing that I found that you need to know is whenever you want to get rid of this image right here, you hit Z on the keyboard, you go down to the uh, delete right here, and you click there, okay? So that's all there's to it, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this uh, short little tutorial. I'll be doing more ZBrush um, tutorials in the future. If you have any requests, let me know. And that said, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.